Are you about to start a new Etsy shop? Well, you need to listen to these five things that I wish I would have done before I started my first shop. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello, my name is Lauren. In today's video, I'm sharing with you guys five different things that I personally wish I would have done before I opened my first Etsy shop. So if you are new to Etsy or you are thinking about opening a shop, this video is going to be perfect for you. If you want to watch more Etsy related videos after this one, I'm going to be linking my Etsy playlist down below for you guys, as well as at the end of the video on the screen. So you can go and check out more afterwards. But without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump on in because I know you guys are excited to hear. One thing I wish I would have considered was having items ready to go when I opened my shop. So I would Wish that I would have had anywhere between 10 and 20 new items to go ahead and immediately list and have ready. That means I had the cover photos ready, I had any description things that needed to go along with it, and I had all the tags, titles, and things figured out as well. So the items were already made and they were ready to go to be listed all at once. Etsy truly favors shops with more items, and honestly, the more items you have, the more chances you have of getting found on Etsy. So increasing your listings at the beginning is a great way to see sales faster and more frequently. Now, obviously, if you make things that are a lot more difficult to create or they're larger items that take longer because they are handmade, you might be the exception to this rule. However, for most shops, I think that having listings ready to go will definitely give you a big advantage when you open your shop. The second thing I wish I would have done when opening my Etsy shop was focusing heavily on my branding. I am someone that when I have a new project and I'm really excited to get started, I want to do the fastest thing possible so that I can get started making or creating whatever it is. So sometimes I kind of rushed through the process of creating a brand and really focusing on what I want things to look like. I think that taking the time to brand yourself and figure out who your niche audience is, what kind of market are you trying to sell to, and what's gonna be your overall brand for your business is really important. The things that I wish I would have done for this would be to research more intense cover photos as well as banners and logos, color schemes, fonts, so that I could really tie it all together and it will be this one beautifully packaged, pretty little brand. Now, if you are trying to do this for your business, start thinking about what kind of colors you like. What kind of items are you going to be selling? Can you create kind of a color palette among those? Can you come up with a fun like font or name or color scheme? And who are you gonna get to make your banner? Are you gonna make your banner yourself? Or do you wanna hire somebody? Do you wanna hire somebody to make a logo that matches your banner? These are all kind of things that you can consider whenever you are trying to develop your brand as a new store. Tip number three is, is one that kind of relates to me a little bit more personally, but is likely going to relate to a lot of you as well. If you are selling digital products or print on demand products, I would highly, highly, highly suggest looking into branded mock-ups. Mock-ups are essentially photos that you place your designs on and it gives it a more realistic look and really shows your buyer what the item is going to be like when they purchase it. And it can be branded so it can match kind of your whole scheme and style. And I think that they make the world of a difference whenever you are posting your items and sharing them because guys, like they look so professional and it makes you look like you know exactly what you're doing. And you can buy these kind of mock-ups all all over Etsy, they have so many different mock-ups for all sorts of different stuff. The fourth thing I wish I would have done was to be consistent with new listings. So I wish I would have kind of chosen a schedule to follow for myself and either uploaded daily new listings or weekly new listings because uploading new listings is a big win in Etsy's eyes. They love to see that you're creating new items. They love to see that you're constantly drawing new traffic. Plus it also gives you such a boost in the shop algorithm because you are going to be found more often because you have more items you are able to be found more easily among all of the other etsy items so the more items you have the more chances again and this is just something i wish i would have known earlier on so that i could have constantly been creating whereas i felt like i created about five or six items and then i was like why am i not seeing any sales only come to realize that I truly just needed to make more items and increase my listings over time so that more people could find me. And my last thing that I wish I would have known was to stop focusing on the short game and focus on the long term game. You're not going to hop on Etsy and become an overnight viral success and start making millions on your Etsy shop 
literally in a night. You're not going to, unless you have a crazy following elsewhere and you've already got people who are interested in your item, then, then maybe you're the exception. But I am willing to say that most of you aren't going to be like that and that's totally okay. Be okay with that though. Fall in love with the process of making your items. Fall in love with the day-to-day -day activities of creating and building your shop and you're going to see it grow over time. I had this like crazy idea in my head that I was just going to make a couple of items and it was going to be great and they were going to boom and that people were going to love them. Well, they were great items. Yeah, but no one was finding my shop because I didn't have a ton of listings and I wasn't very well known in Etsy's eyes yet. You know, I had to have Etsy trust me and my brand as a business before they were able to start pushing out my items. Taking the time to create a long-term plan and be in it for the long run, I promise if you are consistent over time, you will see results as long as you are constantly improving and building on your business. Question of the day for you guys. Which one of these tips did you find the most helpful? I would love to know down below. And while you're commenting, let me know what you want to sell in your Etsy shop or what you do currently sell. I I love seeing y'all's ideas and what you do. And honestly, I love checking out your stores as well. So if you have a link, put it down below. We can all support each other. Right here on my screen, guys, I'm going to link for you another video all about making daily sales on Etsy. So once your shop is up and running, you'll definitely want to go and check that out. I'm also going to have my entire Etsy playlist here on the screen that you can go and click next if you want to binge watch a little bit of my videos and find some more tips and advice. And I'm also going to put my subscribe button for you guys so that you can stick around on my channel. I create videos like this every Tuesday. And without further ado, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.